Hey guys, real short before the video starts. Um, this is for those of you that has already or are looking to purchase the training exchange course. Um, it is noted that anytime during the course to feel free to ask questions about the Title Insurance Pre-Licensing Education Guide as well as the MIA Producer Licensing Exam Process. So um, you receive the information on the author's email in the course. Also, um, there's a Facebook group for those that need a study group. Um, if you need the study group, leave a comment if you would like to join the group. And for a side note, this group is open to all Maryland notaries and um, all Maryland loan signing agents, not only for people who need help with the TIPIC test, but... Um, there's a study group, so if you're interested, again, in a study group for the TIPIC test, the TIPIC test um, through the training exchange program, there's a study group. And if you just want to join a group to get more knowledge on being a notary or loan signer agent, you can still join the Facebook group. So um, the video is coming up next. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Hey guys, welcome back to another notary video. Um, today I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the training for becoming a loan signing agent. I spoke about the TIPIC once or twice, um, and I, I have, my training is with a training exchange. No classes, no online classes, no um, sessions or anything. It's just materials that you read, and you read to your pace. And when you're ready, you take the pretest. If you pass the pretest, then you will then have your information uh, forwarded to the state where you take the state exam for your loan signing agent certification. Um, this course, the training exchange is six months, a six month course. And six months may sound like a long time, guys, but time is steadily zooming by. And I have read some of it. I've taken a pretest up front just to see what it was about. I have a video about that. And I, I, I passed by half. I had half right and half wrong. And I was only reading like 20 some pages. But it's, it's not, I thought it would, I wanted to see, I, I wanted to see, my correction. I wanted to see if it was a common sense test. In a sense, in a little way it is, but in a lot of ways it's not. You have to know about the title companies. You have to know about the documents and their laws and this and that in order to pass this test. So I found that out reading it. And um, like I said, I made a, a video about it, about um, taking that pre-exam. So uh, you guys can go and look at it, or I can link it in this video to show, to give you know, so you can get a little bit of input on what that uh, pre-exam was like. But now I'm trying to actually finish this topic. Like I said, it's a lot, a lot of reading. Um, some people don't, some people need that in class or that online class because some people learn better that way. So I just want you guys to know before you spend your money, if you need that type of course where you like actually, like you're sitting in a class, but you're online or if you're physically in a class, just don't offer that. It's just reading and you get to go at your own pace and again in six months. Now, for those of you that are just becoming a notary, and you might want to try and get some general notary work done while you're studying for your TIPIC. Um, I'm going, it's a, her name is Sia, Sia Knight, S-I-A-K-N-I-G-H-T. She has a YouTube channel that she speaks a lot about general notary work because she seems to prefer general notary work, um, you know, over the loan signing agent. And she seems to be doing pretty well in it and making a nice amount of money. I mean, Loan signing agents can make some good money, and there are a lot of new and upcoming uh, notaries, and I'm one of them. So there's a lot of new upcoming notaries out here, but it's not to scare anybody off because there's enough money out here for everybody to make, whether you're a notary or a loan signing agent or both. Um, we know that notaries does not make a lot of money here in Maryland. You can make uh, between 4 and $5 per sealed document. And um, I myself am doing everything online. So I'm looking for online platforms now to do general notary work while I'm studying for my TIPIC. And I have, I've yet to find an online 
platform. So I signed up with SnapDocs. I haven't heard from them, so I'm going to go back and sign up with them again. Um, I'm taking, I have a course that I've purchased from Vanessa Terry. It's called Notary to Notary. That helped me get through a lot in the beginning because when you're new, you don't know anything. And it's hard trying to figure out what you need to do and what you don't need to do. These videos on YouTube, it's so many people on YouTube speaking about this. You can get confused very quickly. So it's good to kind of like just follow one person, take a little peek at other videos, but don't get consumed in looking at like 30 videos a day of all these different people because it's not going to do nothing but confuse you. But uh, also, like I said, Vanessa Terry, she has a great course. I purchased her course. I went through the complete course. I love it. I'm just waiting to get my um, certification now so I can just take off. I mean, she offer a lot, guys. Um, she even offer notary work. Um, she has a lot of experience in the business. She's been in this business for years. Um, she's very likable. She's She gets back with you. When you reach out to them, and she has a team, when you reach out to them, they respond. It's not like you pay your money, then you're forgotten about. She does a lot of trainings, a lot of different trainings. She's on Facebook every single day. I mean, she's training every single day. She's doing it. She's doing the thing. So if you're interested and you need help with um, your notary business, then I recommend Vanessa Terry from Notary to Notary, and I'm going to have a link in the description for her um, her course and her her uh, trainings. Now, um, one other thing I wanted to speak about um, for Merlin notaries, for those of you like me that want to become a Ron, Merlin just, just recently, and not, not long ago at all, just incorporated Ron into notary, to the, to the notary here. So it's not a lot of information about Maryland for, uh, for Ron, for doing online notary. So I'm trying my best. I'm digging down into it to find out where or who are, who are um, using Maryland, what, what platforms are doing, what platforms are allowing Marylanders to do Ron. And so far, I haven't found any. So I'm going to still look because, guys, my only way of doing notary will be Ron. I'm not doing any physical going out to people or going, I'm just not. Um, I'm not doing it for reasons because I'm a person with disabilities. It's not because I don't want to. I'm a person with disabilities, so the best thing for me is Ron. So I'm, I'm headed towards that direction. And as I find out things, I will bring it back to you guys and let you know what I found out. Um, I'm going to cut this video off now because it's over six minutes. I'd like to keep the video short to keep you guys interested. So I'll see you guys again on the next video. And um, hopefully I have some more information for you. So this is the V, which is me. And I'm signing out. See you guys on the next one.